Now that the uh, the customers are gone here, I get the chance to talk with the chef, chef, and he's the pioneer chef. His name is Charlie Bags. And uh, Charlie, tell us about uh, what is so special about the oil that you're using here to cook these pancakes. Well, it's <laughs> a soybean oil. Uh, soybean oil is really nice and neutral uh, from a flavor perspective, mm -hmm. and very functional in the products that we've prepared today: the pancakes, mm -hmm. the sautéed chicken breast for the chicken masala use the soybean oil to make a roux to make the sauce for the chicken masala. Um, so yeah, just really nice neutral flavor and it's very functional as a cooking medium. Mm -hmm. Well and uh, you also have a nice salad here now. We have a... Yeah, let, me, let me do a salad on the... Oh my gosh that looks delicious. Okay. So, so yeah the salad is a you know fresh romaine sliced very thin with some feta, cranberries, and a, with a light uh, soybean mustard vinaigrette. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to taste some of that here in a minute. Now, and the uh, you've been doing the pancakes with, uh, we have uh, chocolate chips in there? Yep, mm -hmm. chocolate chip pancakes. Yum. This time of day, everyone likes to, something sweet. A little bit of something sweet, right? It's, it's not, it's uh, easy to walk and talk and very yeah. portable. And you have a, a variety of garnishes for our pancakes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Got a little bit of whipped cream, you got some bananas, you got some syrup, and even even a little bit of Nutella. Yeah, we go like this, we'll put a little bit of a little bit of whipped cream right there. Okay. Maybe just a couple of bananas. Are you a strawberry fan? A what? Strawberry, strawberry fan? Oh uh, yeah I like strawberries. Sandwich to go. A pancake sandwich. <laughs> That's great. Well, Charlie, tell me about the job of being a pioneer chef. That seems like a pretty ne pretty cool job. <laughs> yeah, you know, I get to work with uh, the talented marketing and uh, brand management folks, and uh, we take our direction from them as far as uh, the message we're trying to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the idea of going from a seed to consumer with the product really intrigues us as a chef. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're real proud to be here. And mm -hmm. Besides that, now you're here at the Commodity Classic, besides this event, what kind of events do you do? Do you do events all over the place? Yeah, we do uh, the Farm Progress show. Uh -huh. We do trade shows all over the mm -hmm. world. Some years we've worked in up to 10 countries. Uh, representing a specific brand, and uh, <clears throat> yep. so we do about uh, probably 30 shows in the United States per year. And the purpose is to really show people that uh, this is what happens to the soybean. The soybean starts in the field and then it ends up on their plate. A lot of the farmers like to know when they grow a product what happens with it, and it really gives them a story and a good feeling when they know uh, they're creating a product that's good for the consumer and then it's uh, widely recognized and it's in demand. Mm -hmm. Ultimately drive the price up <laughs> so everybody's happy. Well that's good, alright. Yeah. Well thank you very much. It's here at the Pioneer booth at uh, Commodity Classic. I'm Cindy Zimmerman reporting.